We're seeing the Rift Jack, who's kind of not messing around here. And Leviathan going with the Synchro, which we saw in the South versus Tailwinds. Certainly has some sauce. Game looking super even to start out. Luciano is able to get that wave, that up air, uh, well wave dashing off the platform. Gets a super early stock off of Leviathan. Leviathan sells a ways to go. Ripjack, not a light character. And believe it or not, from watching Luciano, also not a fast character. But Luciano keeping up with Stingra, the one of the most mobile characters in the game by a long shot. Ooh, back airs directly into that charged up air. Charge fair, not quite gonna do it yet. Ooh, but rolls into another one, forced to burst. This guy now just needs to get a little bit more percent to secure this lead before losing the stock. Or take a whole nother stock. My god, is Ripjack back air strong and staying red light? That is. That is a combo. Like that, well, that's a move. That's the word I'm looking for. Leviathan gets a combo of their own, though. Just kind of not in as good a spot as they were a little bit ago. Needs to get some damage onto Leviathan before another bagger can kill. Not much damage, mind you. That poison ball. Almost gonna do it. Probably about 50 before we can start expecting a kill from Luciano based on what we've seen previously from in this game. But Luciano also at kill percent here. It does go down. Stocks are even, but Luciano just needs to find one back air. While well, Leviathan needs to do a full stock worth of damage. Honestly, I don't necessarily love the festive jungle start here. I feel like this Gano could have gotten a better stage for Ripjack. The platforms here can get in the way of the Poison Rain, but that does not matter. Leviathan unable to recover there. And this Gano gonna take game one in a pretty dominant fashion. Ripjack, strong character. And game two, we're going right back, same stage, same characters. Leviathan taking so much damage here. Stingra has to be so careful to avoid this poison with how early she dies as a character, but Leviathan not really able to get around it and that Nair almost takes it. Backer will definitely do it. Another Nair will probably do it for most parts of the stage. Even a Ferret Ledge, that Nair will do it. Leviathan just looks kind of at a loss, running into poison, trying to get something started. He's able to get something there, not the kill though. There's the kill though. Keeping it kind of even, but again, just these little bit of damage that they're taking from the poison. Adding up very quickly, and with 
Stingra dying at 50. That's kill percent right there. Still needs a lot more damage before this guy now will be close to death. <clears throat> And yeah, back air is gonna do it. See, Leviathan getting these neutral wins here, but just takes 16% doing it. Takes another 10 from getting hit by a projectile. Now at kill percent. Leviathan needs to be a lot more careful. Oh my god, Leviathan is not solo Stingra. They actually have been entered two tournaments before, both as Mako, and they, within two tournaments, became a, like, question about whether or not they're top three in the game. So certainly an experienced player with... Well, not a really an experienced player, oh, just a really fucking good player with Mako. And has that with Stingra, but just he's kind of walling them out here. This Ripjack, not a common matchup, not an easy matchup. We'll see if Leviathan can figure anything out, though. in this third game. Alright, starting now. Back to Festive Jungle again. I don't really dislike this as a counter pick, but you've got to just be more careful around the poison. And yeah, just like that. <clears throat> Stock basically unanswered, and Leviathan gets some more damage, does so in the rain. That's a net loss. Some characters can just, you know, sort of ignore the poison, <clears throat> especially if they can get neutral wins well enough through it, but Stingra really can't. That back air would have killed if the rain hadn't been there. Python very much living on borrowed time, and that's it. Yeah, I... we're just not really seeing like any acknowledgement from Leviathan here that poison is bad. Maybe I shouldn't run into it. Just still like not caring about the damage, which is winding up in. These super dominant games from Liskano. Looks like we might have a little bit more patience coming up from Leviathan, waiting for the moments to avoid the poison. But that's probably going to be too little too late as. Already in kill percent for most moves. I do like going through the rain at this point, to be honest. There's just not much you can do about it. Was that a knockback glitch there? 